Anyway, and uh, I'm so old that uh, I retired from the National Institute of Aging, and this is my uh, current home, a uh, wonderful place, Biomedical Bio 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 Research Center, and uh, most people say Baton Rouge, or we say Baton Rouge. Um, anyway, and uh, so uh, it's a pleasure to talk, and followed by uh, my colleague, Ed Ross, we hope to give you an update. I was here 10 years ago at uh, the first sentence, and uh, well, Ten years is one fourth of a recent month of lifespan. Oh, look out for a minute. John gave us a hundred dollars at that meeting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and now with the current interest rates, it's worth about a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to speed through this because we got 25 years of, of science, and I need to talk in 20 minutes. So I, I typically talk fast anyway, so it's going to be light and speedy. All right. So I'm going to get into this background. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of rodent studies and similar numbers, maybe thousands of invertebrate models. There's only one in dogs, I'm doing some of dogs in And uh, my colleagues and I, uh, George Roth, um, at the time Richard Cutler and I, really asked the question, of, is this really relevant to humans? These, these results are so robust and so profound, is it relevant to humans? We have one scientific director said, well, what are we doing in prisoners? You know, they have a motivation. And, uh, there were ethical laws against that, but so we decided on the most well-controlled model that was available at the time, that was uh, the recent model. Uh, now, the other reason uh, was that there's a legitimate question about whether cow restriction would extend lifespan and health span in a long-lived um, uh, mammalian, uh, a long-lived mammal. And there have been evolutionary arguments for and against the artist. Some of them might appear, a couple of them might. You'll see I represented very nicely here. Um, and the point is that uh, the legitimate arguments are that long-lived species, long-lived mammals may have maxed out all the strategies, all the molecular mechanisms that are evoked during cow restriction and short life animals. Maybe we've maxed out those. Maybe we have better DNA repair. Maybe we have better antitoxin systems. Maybe we protect ourselves against glycation. Their DNA repair mechanisms are better. Our immune function is better. Uh, we have better control over inflammation. All these things may be working in long with species already, so they might not work in, in, a, in a recent month. <clears throat> the two studies I already mentioned, we're going to talk about, like I said, uh, over 25, close to 25 years of work. <clears throat> and the hypothesis, very straightforward, the dietary regime, imposing 30% cow restriction on both studies of the nutritious diet, which might come into size, the retard onset, an instance of chronic disease is attenuated, age-related declines in function, reduced mortality rates, i.e. increased health span and lifespan. Health span wasn't a word when we started. It's interesting how words come into our vocabulary now. Now it's, now it's, a, it's a terminology that has meaning. But really, from our perspective at least, we were trying to evaluate what was a successful intervention CR in rats. We were trying to say, does a monkey respond to CR like a rat? So we're creating a monkey rat. Lots and lots of people, many of not even shown on this slide or represented. Uh, as I said, here are the people who started it, and Haley added by Mark Lane now all along. Uh, current um, supervision of the study, Haley led by Julie Madison, uh, and, uh, and, and also assisted greatly by Rafael DiCavo. Outstanding staff. You cannot do these studies, long term research monkeys. The husband treatment was pretty bad when we started in terms of survival curves. Our survival curves are phenomenal. We're going to have the best. Uh, longest living rhesus monkeys, and we learned a lot about how, how to do that well. Uh, other collaborators at various institutions we want to acknowledge, and of course, Ross will be talking later. <clears throat> uh, now, just some basic uh, demography of, uh, of aging in, in the rhesus monkeys. So, I have here a representative of human stages of lifespan, and here's the rhesus monkey. You see, child and adolescent, I think it's very important, even that distinction, maybe as, as we go forward. Young adult, and this is weird, so, so you'll see the NIA was down in this range, Wisconsin was down in this range, and we also had NIA some monkeys up in this range of age when the CR was initiated. Keep that in mind. All right, and uh, I don't need to pay a lot of attention to this because we're going to have to go over it again in the joint session, but just understand that we started off with monkeys in this age range, and you'll see one to three, three to five, and we ended up lumping those together just for additional power. You see, it's 30 monkeys. And then we added 30 monkeys later to 60 female monkeys. So here, here's the bottom line to the design. And then some of the data I'll be presenting to you today were these short-term studies represented here that were actually done at the Oregon National Primate Research Center because they had more technology. They could get continuous uh, round-the-clock blood uh, sampling. 
Uh, all right. Um, and again, we're going to emphasize this in the, in the joint presentation. We're going to show the composition of the diet. <coughs> but you know it was a controlled natural ingredient diet, and you'll see that uh, Wisconsin was a, was a purified diet. Um, and here, the basic constituents are shown here. We fed meals, not that limited feeding to our controls, two times a day. And the, and the amount they got was based upon their age and their weight. So you'll see that we thought they, they were semi under CR. We did not want to have that limited feeding to these uh, obese control numbers. I mentioned that, it's 30 to last, and we gradually phased it in. All right, and the challenge, which really only the National Institutes of Health could do, we started off modestly, but realized, wow, this is what we have to do. Um, you know, we're going to have to evaluate the maintenance of cellular, organ, physiological, behavior functions of old age. Essentially, then, says they head to toe, inside and out. And you'll see some major categories that were examined. And I'm going to go over just a few of those because of the time constraints. Basically, not a lot of data today, and I'm just going to summarize a lot of the findings so that we can have a, a context in which to have our discussion. All right, metabolic changes, which is going to become very important when you see Rob's presentation. Um, very important here to see here, this is uh, kilocalories adjusted for body weight and body composition by this formula. And let me just point out what we have here control males, and then we have CR males here. So you see that here's the, here's the male CR, and the, I mean the male control and the male CR. And we have females are basically on the same line as the males when you adjust for their body weight. And the female CR basically on top of the males with some divergence down here. So they're, so they're eating what uh, their body composition requires. Another really uh, core physiological feature of, of, of calorie restriction is this change in, in uh, core body temperature. This is rectal temperature, which really is not truly core, but this represented the data shown here. You can see how the, uh, the, the CR group, this is that J group, which is the one to three years of age, A group, three to five years of age, and how they have lower body temperature. So body temperature defines overall in aging, but having this different metabolic set has been replicated at any time. All right, now, the big issue is that, well, and I think most people think, well, metabolic rate must change as well, and it does, but if, in our minds, it's acutely. So if we put them into a whole body cow temperature, we measure the total cows uh, per day that they consume. The, the action down here is uh, at lift from 10, 20, 30 percent, and six months later, 30 percent. And you can see this um, gradual reduction. This is a total total calories per day, and then adjusted for body weight. And after, after six months, yeah, there is a difference in the metabolic rate. That happens in Cuba. But then the body weight, the body composition is recalibrated. The metabolic demand is recalibrated. And uh, what we've seen, uh, this is again very careful. Um, calorie imagery, low body calorie imagery in, in, in these monkeys, usually groups in J, A, and O. You can see the decline in metabolic rate with aging, but these are comparisons control in green, blue. Uh, there's no difference in our hands. Now, you'll see from Rosslyn's work, there'll be much finer analysis. Uh, that indicates there are some metabolic differences, but overall, we didn't see this metabolic difference. Hormonal changes. Uh, this is no data, just some summary uh, presented here. And uh, what we have is the prediction that should, should occur based on Roman <coughs> literature, and you see some uh, agreeing and, uh, and some disagreeing. All right, let's just go through these quick. Insulin, down, down. T3, down. Uh, uh, cortisol, of course, serum in the case of the rat, up. Up in young animals, but, but not next, but down in old animals. DHEAS, which rats don't have, uh, not affected in young animals, actually driven down in old animals. <coughs> Growth hormone. This big axis here, Dr. Fontana is going to address. Uh, in, in rodents, yes. In monkeys, we did not see evidence of that. Uh, a dip, uh, um, leptin. Uh, we saw a deep, should decrease in neurotis and in young monkeys, but not old monkeys, actually going up. Diphenectin, increase. Testosterone, look at this. Decrease, consistent with evolutionary strategy, but actually increase in our monkeys. Uh, this was studies done at, at Wisconsin, I mean, sorry, at the uh, University of Oregon. <coughs> Estradiol should be down, again, reproductive uh, strategy. No, no effect in our, in our female monkeys that we have. Keep that in mind. Uh, cardiovascular function. All right, blood pressure. 
Uh, here's a uh, representative here, are, um, this is how long we've been on CR, and uh, this is the group, uh, the adult group and the old group. And you can see that the uh, systolic and diastolic pressure were, were down significantly in the younger group, not quite in the older group of monkeys. So lo lower blood pressure. Um, lip lipoprotein profile, you want to have, you know, again, low LDL, high HDL, particularly these fractures which have been associated with uh, lower risk of cardiovascular disease. And you see that in the young animals, it was increased with well down. These are both significant effects, but not in the old animals. All right, and uh, triglycerides. And here's, here's a lot where exceptions start creeping in to some of the generalizations I've just provided you. So you can see the clear age effects that occur, both in control and CR monkeys. But um, in the controlled females, if you look at the, uh, the, the right here, um, uh, we've got legends on there. There's, well, I've got the legends here. Okay. So here's the controlled females are, are here in the blue solid line, but here's the CR, the higher triglycerides. Just the opposite of the males, solid line blue here, and the CR males are down here. So there was a major gender difference in response to uh, 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 triglycerides. The new function, not that one out there. But anyway, um, all right, uh, what we observed was what would. You cannot do 20 minutes in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, Don. The, the, the questions were going to be at the joint session, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's 15. It's not coming. Okay. Uh, so, so suffice to say that the, the immune function um, follow a lot of the, uh, the rat literature in terms of the kind of healthy cells. Now, each CD8 cells being increased, and these effector cells are basically already been used being decreased. But one major caveat uh, that was outlined in this study, which is now this is just that A group, three to five years of age, and this is the, the J group, one to three years of age. And you look at these naive cells, which you want to have a lot of, and they do here. See, this is the age of that. These are old control monkeys, and, and you see that they, the, the young monkeys, the juvenile monkeys, look like old monkeys. So there was a, a negative impact, at least on this parameter, of immune function, which also showed also the Functional measures. And again, I'm just going to summarize this. I had some data to get to you, but uh, that was a 20 minute talk. Um, visual accommodation, age effect, uh, the monkeys were measured in that and hearing, uh, that decreased, but there was no CR effect on those functions. General activity decreases, and there was an effect on, on cow restriction increasing um, general activity and uh, simple object discrimination learning we had no effect and manual dexterity and a task that hopefully Ross has enough time to describe to you uh, goes down the age and was uh, performance in that dexterity task was preserved and I think it's very very critical we can talk about molecular mechanisms all day but as a trained psychologist I want to see functional effects and that was very important that was repeated uh, a longitudinally let me show you some pictures of how we've done this is some of the data. I can summarize what we're looking here. Uh, so this is by three different measurements. Here's the control group. Here's the CR group. You basically, you want to be faster to get in there and get the reward. Uh, and there are a lot of built-in controls for motivation. And you can see that these monkeys on CR, this is the J and A group combined, were improved. Molecular markers, real quick. CR had no effect on prolific capacity of thermal fibroblasts. It had no effect on lymphocytes. <coughs> nor on glycation. It did have an effect on glycation measured by that. This is in uh, skin samples, but not on glycosidation and dosing in carbo, uh, car carboxylmethylglycine. It also had no effect on retinal drusenoid macul uh, maculopathy. <coughs> um, and uh, so these were all expected and to be benefited by CR, and these, these were not. That's the key here today. Mor morbidity and mortality, I don't have to show you. We're going to go in detail at that joint session. But I just want to emphasize in terms of the old onset, you can see that this is all deaths. There just was no effect on their survival. Although there were many important health uh, parameters that were uh, affected by, uh, by cow restriction and benefits. So I can summarize. I'm still with my mind. The CRP type of monkey generally duplicate that observed in rodents and now observed in humans, but there are important differences. And I'll try to emphasize that. Major differences appear in effects on the female reproductive axis. Many risk factors for age-related chronic disease are reduced in CR monkeys, and we're going to go into more detail on that. And the onset of chronic disease appears retarded as a result. 
The age-related changes do not appear affected by CR, particularly at the molecular level. Many effects of CR differ across gender and age of initiation. I've shown you a couple of examples. So our conclusion in the <coughs> is that CR, CR as opposed in our study appears to improve markers of health and function health span, but does not appear to reduce risk of mortality in monkeys who are going to die at young age, nor increase lifespan in monkeys who are going to die at old age. Okay, so a lot of the difference in results from Wisconsin, that's going to be the subject of the presentation. Caveats, important caveats. Except the male hypothesis is not translated into proving the male hypothesis. She go without saying. And the NIH study was never intended to be a longevity study, such as it was under power. We'll say more about that. Uh, our controls are should not add little to that. Maybe we need a higher level of CR. And we've not completed the longitudinal analysis. I want to thank you. Don't get the applause yet. Thank you for your attention. Here's another reason you have a product. You know, you heard me, guys. Appreciate it. Most popular television show on cable, cable television show, Indian Apples. Most popular show. Last. Happy birthday, Rod.